so glad you are here. We have precious little time. I need you to perform a task of unimaginable danger. I believe you are the only man who can do it. Do you accept? What are the hours? It will take the rest of your life and beyond. All right, I haven't got my turn. Take this. It is a secret outfit. If that falls into the hands of our enemies, this planet will be doomed. You must take it away and hide it. Who are you, anyway? It is I, the king. Cool, I'll just nip home and get a couple of bits. No, we have no time. You must go far away to a planet called Earth. How will I get there? Press the button in the amulet. It will take you there. Cheers, King. I'll never forget you. And I will never forget you, Banu. It's Nibu, actually. What? I came as quickly as I could. My liege, I've trained for over 30 years for this task. I'm the fittest, the strongest, the fastest warrior in all the land. With me, the amulet will be safe. I am your humble servant, Banu. Shit. Come with us now on a journey through time and space. To the world of the magical. What's the point? Come on, we've had worse gigs than that, you know? Just a tough crowd. You heard what they're saying. Why did you bring your dad on stage? I could have been talking about the sound, man. They were talking about me and you know it. Who's that? Your science teacher? Well, you've always been more mature than me, you know? We're the same age. I know, but it was always like that, even at school. Vince, is that your dad? No. We're the same age. Come on, Hyde. Let's get out. I've always been big boned. Exactly. People love that about you, you know? You know what people call you? What? The Buffalo Man. <sighs> What's a big old buffalo doing trying to make it in a band? It's a young man's game. I've already got four crow's feet. Maybe I should get a facelift. Well, that is an option. It's a drastic one, though. There's other things you could do first. Like what? Well, I mean, your outfit. What's going on there? This is my look. A good look, a strong look. Yeah, for Magnum PI, maybe. The Hawaiian shorts. Yeah, my legs are my best feature. I've been told they're slim and youthful. They're not going to get you on the cover of Enemy, though, are they? They'll be knocking the pegs, OK? These babies will turn heads in their time. But, Al, I think you're going to have to learn to accessorise. What? Well, you know, gloves, belts, badges. You know, you can really breathe new life into an outfit. I don't accessorise. I'm Howard Moon. There's a simple truth to me. I don't have to adorn myself in trinkets. Whatever. Time is calling out my name. Howard. Playing the final moves of this game. Yes. All my hopes and dreams have turned to dust. The armor of my youth gone to rust. What's up with him? He's having an age crisis. Well, it is all about youth these days. I know. How old are you? Real age or press age? Real age. I am 40, but because I am DJ, I say 29. Nice. What about the boo? He's 406. No way, he looks about 12. <laughs> What's his secret? What have you lay like, that? He has different secret. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he has access to Fountain of Youth. Must have hidden it somewhere. Imagine if we find it. It'll be genius. Our old brains encased in tight youthful faces. Where is it? I've got something. There's a map here. I'll take that. I'm a cartographer around here. I found it. Well, that's one for you. That's not your style, isn't it? Nice and shiny. Cool. To find the fountain of youth, you must first reach the desert of nightmares. <laughs> What did you say? I think we could find the desert of nightmares. <laughs> Check this out. You think Nabu will mind us borrowing this for a while? No. Come on. Let's get ourselves some youth juice. <laughs> yeah. In circles. I've read about this. If you're walking in the desert and there's no landmarks and you've got one leg shorter than the other, you just go around in circles. What are you saying about my legs? I'm not saying anything about your legs. You always want to poke at my legs, aren't you? <laughs> not talking about your... Well, they are quite funny. There's <laughs> nothing funny about my legs. <laughs> They're like hose pipes popping up a beanbag. That's my look, OK? You're just jealous. You only dream of having legs like mine. Willowy and sleek, like the antelope. <laughs> Whatever. 
tell you, this factor 3000 is genius. It's tested out on goths and albinos. It's <laughs> part of the Edgar Winter range. Yeah, well, give me some. There's none left. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, great, I'm going to burn up. Oh, you'll be all right. You look good with a tan, you know? I need to be pal. It's part of my look. You know, I'm the Shoreditch vampire. I've got sensitive skin. Okay, do you remember where we came here? I've got four crow's feet as it is. Five, actually. What do you mean? Just seen one up here under your eye. Don't be joking, love. There's another one. Stop it. Six. Shut up. Seven. Stop it. They're coming thick and fast. This isn't funny, okay? Halt! Huh? What brings you to the desert of nightmares? Actually, we're looking for the fountain of youth. We're just passing through. Ah! Many a vain man has come searching for the fountain of youth, and many a vain man has been killed. Why? Because I have killed them! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you and whose army? Me and my army. Koshungo! Check us out! Don't believe this. I've been going through my stuff again. They'll be looking for something of you. Really? And why would they be looking for that, Bolo? Uh, I don't know. Have you been yapping off again? Uh, Bolo needs to go now. They've taken the amulet. We've got to go and find them. Where they go? To a place. Far, far away. A place where I was born. Stratum? No, the planet Zubron, you jack off. Oh, Zubron, oh yeah. We have reached a verdict. You shall be buried up to your necks in sand, left in the midday sun to be cooked alive. Have you anything to say? Have you got the amulet? Yeah, should we get out of here? One minute. What are you doing? Yeah, I've got something to say, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm just uh, wondering why you're doing all this sort of stuff. Is it now, and I'm going out on a limb here, because you're a little bit short? I'm not short, am I? See? I'm a big un. Come on, they're just kneeling down to make you look taller. I am taller than most things. Like what? Chairs, beach balls, women on their sides. You're technically a midget. I'm sorry to break it to you. I am four foot six without choosies. With the hat, maybe. Is that why you wear it? To give you a little boost? This is all me! Who looks foolish now? You, you blue buck. What's that comb over all about? That's not disguising the size of your head, you know. Oh, I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life! What with? Your forehead. Santa! <laughs> It's not working. What do you mean it's not working? I think the batteries have run out. What do you mean? The batteries are dead. What batteries? Oh. Oh. Yes. Good, Zenta. There'll be snacks for you later. Zenta, a little on the short side, but he packs a wallop. <laughs> Behold, he has the amulet. All hail our new leader. Yeah, right. You quite realise that you were messing with, did you? You don't have the amulet. Uh. Can't you get any closer? I'm trying, boss. Oh, it's not crashed again, is it? Nah, the mouse is stuck. Zoom in on that bird with a big air. Right click, right click, zoom. Hello, bleeding Louia. I knew it, boy. I had a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach this morning when I woke up. At first, I thought it was the crab sticks. But now it all makes sense. The amulet has come back at last. When I get that amulet and get to the fountain in the youth, I'll rule the universe. An army of green bitches marching and destroying everything in their cockney wake. Oh, I love you, boss. Shut up and put the tea on. All right. How about some malt, love? Yeah, I'll have a slice. Right. Apples and pears and various other fruit. Yeah, so basically, I'm back home. I rarely watch it. It just stays like this all day. Bravissimo. Remarkable. Um, could you sign this for my wife? Yeah. And make it out to Alan. Yeah, I can have some space. I'm getting a bit claustro. Give our master some space, you pig dogs! Can I get you anything else, my little plum dumpling? Well, I am quite thirsty. Slave! Water! Now! <laughs> nice shorts. I'm not happy about this, you know. How dare you speak in the presence of the Chosen One? Chosen One? I've already told you! Will you stop doing that? You're not listening! Shall I kill him? Um... No, don't kill him. Let me have a word with him, in private. Everyone out, you little dickbags! Mm, I can stay, of course, because I'm the favourite of the Chosen One. Oh, my dear, sweet, gorgeous Lord. What are you doing? Oh, I've crossed the line. Forgive me. I shall cut off my hand. 
Oh, 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 this is bad. God. No. God, it hurts so good. Listen, we've got to get out of here and get some batteries for that amulet, okay? Where are we going to get those from? The local Dixons. Well, I don't know where we're going to get them from, but we can't get home without them. What's the rush? What do you mean, what's the rush? We've been held captive by a violent dwarf. I'm not. Look, you remember why we came here, yeah? To find the Fountain of Youth. Yeah, but that was before. Before what? Before I found out. I was the chosen one. Vince, you've come wrong. I've always felt like I might be the chosen one. What? Do you believe in fate, Howard? I mean, I was wearing the amulet. Well, maybe I should wear that amulet for a little bit, yeah? You don't accessorise. There's a simple truth to you. You bitch, give me that amulet. Guards! What shall we do with him? Just get him out of my sight. Very well, Cupcake. Shooting star, look at you. Shooting star, you're a beautiful ball of light. Shooting star, get out of the way, I can't see nothing. You're all in my peripherals. You're in my peripherals vision. I can't, I can't, how can I concentrate? You're all over, like a blue bottle. Getting in, getting in all about it, the place. Flipping idiot. Straighten my hair. Run for your lives! What's happening? Where's everyone going? This is your first test. What test? It is written that the chosen one must destroy the evil sand beast that has cursed our tribe for hundreds of tens of years. Unless perhaps you are not the chosen one. No, no. He is the chosen one. Good luck. Good luck, my lovely lady lumps. Bye. <laughs> I am Sandstorm. I'm Vince. Pleased to meet you. Ow! Feel the power of my great focus paper fans! <laughs> that hurt you, Bumba Clark. That's just the beginning. I plan to send you down to a pulp, cowboy. Why? What? I am Sandstorm! Yeah? So what? Stop the talk! Prepare for the chafing! There's something wrong with you. No, there isn't. You're all angry. Yes, I am angry. You've got no charm or charisma. There's nothing to you. You're just violence in a tall belt. Who are you to judge me? I'm frustrated. Why? Because I cannot love. It's a living hell for me. What is? My life. I'm made from sandpaper. Yeah, I'm getting that. I can't touch anything. If I do, I wear it down. I, I plane surfaces without realising it. I cannot even touch myself. I'm having a bit of a shocker. Hmm. Well, have you thought about accessorising? What? Well, you know, what about some gloves? Gloves? What is gloves? Take these. Hmm. They go over your hands. Oh. Ah. Hand sheets. Never before have I felt the soft contours of my face. Never have I lightly caressed the angular frame that is my torso. Oh, this is great. Now I can love myself. Oh, my. Can I keep these? Yeah. Oh, thank you. No one's ever given me a gift before. It's fine. If you need help, general DIY, or I'm very good with coving, simply blow this horn and I shall repay your kindness. Bye. See you later. Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto. Mars, Venus, George, Kurt, Chrissy. That is a list of my best friends in order. Order of preference. I love the chosen one. Loving him is lots of fun. We love the chosen one. Not as much as me. I love him with my heart. I love him with my body parts. We love chosen one. Everybody shush. There, it is decided I love the chosen one most. And in appreciation of your killing the evil sand beast, I present you with this gift. Wow. Thanks a lot. Mm. Cheers. It took me ages to wrap. You got anything else? I do like gifts. Oh, yes. Peppo! Ow! 
Peppo, come over here. Oh, hi, Peppo. Peppo is the greatest artist our race has ever produced. He has been watching you ever since you arrived. I hope you don't mind, um, but I, I think this is uh, the best piece of work I've ever done. <laughs> that is cool. God, it must have taken you ages. It's so perfect. I mean, the fringe is a bit short. Forgive me, my lord. I just meant you could probably redo the fringe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Music! I love the chosen one. Loving him is fun, fun, fun. I love the chosen one. Not as much as me. I love the chosen one. Loving him is so much fun. We love the chosen one. Not as much as me. I love Why do you not join in the festivities? It's not really my scene. No, mine. He's not the chosen one. What do you mean? You are. Am I? I mean, I am, but, uh, how did you know that? I've been watching you in your shorts. You are a powerful man with slim, handsome legs. We noticed. How could I fail to? Such legs. I know why you are here. You seek the fountain of youth. How do you know that? I also know your so-called friend Vince plans to ditch you, get it himself, and form a band with younger people. What? Yes, he's drunk on power. But I see something special in your eyes, Howard. You should have the amulet. Yes. How? You are his personal slave, are you not? More of a valet, but yes. You fold his clothes, peel his grapes, yep. wash his balls. I draw the line at that, but I do deal with some of his more personal business. And you have access to his tent? I do. I can't hear that. Oh, sorry. Basically, you go into his tent when he is asleep, you open the flap, you steal the amulet. Amulet? Yeah, yeah, he was sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Never mind. Give me the amulet. Oh, yeah. Maybe uh, when this whole thing's over, we could go out for a meal. Do you like Chinese food? I don't think so, Squire. Italian? <laughs> huh? Huh? What's happening? Someone stole the amulet last night while I was asleep. Oh, who would do something like that? Silence! You have lost the amulet, our most valuable of jewels, and now you must pay the price. By midday, you will be two burning balls of fire. Now make peace with your gods. I suppose a hat would be out of the question, would it? Shut it! Caro Piro Sagito! Caro Piro Perfect. Howard? You think it's going to be all right? No. We're going to die in the most horrific way, don't you, man? We had some good times there, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Remember the time we had that soup? <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Soup, soup, a tasty soup, soup, a spicy carrot and coriander, chili chowder, crouton, crouton, crunchy friends in a liquid broth. I am gazpacho, oh, I am a summer soup. Mm. Miso, miso, fighting in the dojo. Miso, miso, oriental prince in the land of soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic times. Crazy days. Come oh, on, it'll be all right. Something to turn up. It always does. I'll tell you what, they said go winter sun cream. It's incredible. I only applied a small amount, and I feel like I'm in a cool mountain stream. <laughs> How are you bearing up? Yeah, I'm fine. Where did you get those sunglasses from? A passing coyote took pity on me. He took pity on you, did he? He took a piss on me. I think in his own simple way, he was probably just trying to cool you down. Hey, Howard, it's Naboo. What the hell's been going on here? Yeah, we got into a spot above her. Oh, where's Howard? What, what do you mean? I'm right here. What's happened to you? Why, have I caught the sun? You look like Chucky Potato. Oh, no. Well, I'm getting out. I'm going to start the carpet. Don't panic, Vince. I'll have you out in a jiffy. What are you starting with him for? Dig me out. Too late for you. Vince, precious flower. Bolo, you got anything for my face? Beans or coleslaw? <laughs> <laughs> there it is! I can scarcely believe my powerful peeper! It does exist! Take a look, Stu! The family of youth! Wow, it looked different, boss. Well, they've done it all up, haven't they? It's all lucky in there, boy! Oh. There it is! The magic H2O comes cascading out of this shower in, and when liberally applied to my thin green body, it'll restore me to my former glory. And beauty mind. Yeah, nice one. 
We're getting close now. It's not too far now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you've always got a bad feeling, haven't you? Shut up, or not face it. Hey, we're oh. coming, boss. Oh, how'd that happen? Ah, don't you worry about it, boy. I've got one last trick up my Lambert sleeve. Oh, evil tree. Go about your wicked foul business. I am evil tree. Ah! Prepare to meet your doom. Don't let anyone panic. You'll be all right. As long as we stick together. Ah! Oh, thanks a lot, Howard. Good <laughs> <laughs> <Got an> idea. <laughs> Come on, you little dresser. You little posh cabinet. Pop your little drawers out. Pop your little drawers. <laughs> Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> Sam! You better believe it! Hold these! Oh. Prepare to die, Kitty! Wait! Perhaps we are not so different. What? Well, I am made of wood. So? And you are made of sandpaper. And? Paper comes from wood. What? If you kill me, you are killing yourself. Nice try! I'll be back to punish you later, you little pine top. <laughs> Thank you. See you, Sam. Bye-bye. Who was that one, then? Oh, oh, it's me too. Oh, my God, me flower. Watch me shower. <laughs> I can feel myself getting younger. Each droplet taking me back to puberty. It's too late. Not quite. <laughs> Wonderful. Cheers. If only the king was here. He's so proud. Perhaps the king is closer than you think. Who's that? It is I, the king. <laughs> All right, king. Naboo, nice hair. Thanks. What do you use? Fruit booster. Seaweed. I just leave my natural. I would know. Well done, Naboo. You have defeated the evil cockney and averted great disaster. Come, reign with me. We shall enjoy a full range of lentil based dishes and listen to folk music every night. Actually, uh, I've got stuff on. Let's get out of it. Oh, well. Fare thee well, Naboo. I came as quickly as I could. I heard there was great trouble in the forest. I never thought of investing in a watch. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Shit, I pick up the kids. Oh, what a bug. Oh, I can't believe we went all the way there and didn't even get any youth juice. I mean, this is <laughs> no way. Save up a couple of years, eh? <laughs> Genius. Give us a go. Mm. What's it like? Oh, it's tasty. That's enough. Mm. That's enough. I don't want to look like a flipping walnut. All right, testicle head. That better not be what I think it is. What if it is? You idiots, you're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> that milk warm yet? Yeah, uh, I can't tell really. My elbow too hairy. Oh, no. What? I think Howard's done a little mistake in his pants. <laughs> I love the chosen one. I think that he is number one. I love the chosen one. Loving him is so much fun. I love him in the night. I love him with my body tight. I love the chosen one. I stick my fingers up That's his... enough music for tonight. <laughs> no more music. Out.